let's see. Oh, get over 15. Okay, so this is, this is, this is really easy. Look, we're gonna we're going to the hotel here and uh, we just need to at least get 15 points. There's a, there's a very Yoshi Island-esque heart meter at the top. That's At least that's what I feel like. It looks like it's based on. Goofy little smile. We're going for boiling animation lines. <laughs> yeah, it's weird. This uh, this pig elevator thing, it's a recurring thing within the series. But this, like, why is it animated like this? <laughs> Looks like it's drawn by a kid, I guess. You know, something that I just noticed that really bothers me that shouldn't is that look at the dots that light up the the red red green that appears on the right side and they don't have a hard edge but they like they're kind of blurred oh like, everything yeah. else has a clean outline but then that has like a actual multiple shades mm -hmm. it, it just kind of bothers me for, for some reason it's just inconsistent Yeah. <laughs> but that's that's warrior wear for you. We gotta sniff yeah. up. It's consistent. In it's so, inconsistent. Nick, See. did you did you ever play the GameCube game? You did, right? I think yeah. No. Well I don't think I did actually. Oh man, the GameCube game is, is so Especially with, um, friends. Good. The multiplayer. Ooh. It's like... What was it called again? Which one was that? Uh, what, what is that one called? Uh, is it just Mega Party Games, I think is what it's called? I think so. Oh. But, I mean, it's, it's all the same micro games, but the, the multiplayer has unique challenges. We were talking about it earlier where Mitchell said that one of them is like you play micro games and your friends rate you on how how wacky <laughs> of things you do, how you do them well. Um, Mitchell, what, what else was there? I know there was one where it's like you had to pump up a balloon. Yeah, there's one where one person is playing and all the other people are pumping up the balloon and whoever is playing the micro game when it pops loses. There's um, the one where every time you lose a four player micro game, you, the, you got turtles stacked up on you. That's you right. Turtles. And that one had original micro games. Yeah, too. that was like the only one that had original micro games. I mean, there's just the default early one where it's just random people are selected to play the same micro games, or one person is selected, mm -hmm. and they just go faster. There's one where you have to one person is playing the mini games or the micro games, and the other people have like flashlights to light up the screen. Oh yeah, that's like a team-based one. Yeah. Isn't there one where you have to like steal e-reader cards? Yeah. <laughs> Isn't that so weird? E-reader cards? It's still e-reader yeah. cards. Strange. Um, oh, man, I thought only Animal Crossing had actual integration with that. <laughs> no, I don't think there's any in integration. <laughs> uh. It was literally just... Just we have some. <laughs> we have assets for e-reader cards. Let's use them for this. <laughs> right, Mitchell. I mean, <laughs> yeah, that's basically it. It's just like, uh, let's let's throw let's let's have some e-reader cards slide around the screen. That's basically it. Oh, um, what? Okay. Okay, and that if I'm remembering right, there was also one that was kind of like bingo, right? I remember like nobody played that one. It was, it was bingo, but it took place on, like, asteroids. I have no recollection of that. 
It's it was it's I believe it was like considered dribble and spitzes uh game. I don't know. I know there's the the uh the one where you're all running on like the beach or whatever. Oh and... yeah, you pass the controller. Yeah, and it, like if you lose a micro game then you're out. And it's just yeah. like going back and forth between multiple people. Yeah. That's pretty good. I need to bring those back. Okay. These are so good. The closest that we've gotten to that was Game and Wario. And I guess kind of smooth moves had a mode like that, right? I guess. Um, but Game and Wario isn't a WarioWare game, and um, smooth moves I think was all just past the controller. I like how the WarioWare series was always like it was always kind of like a weird mishmash of things, but I feel like uh, smooth moves was really the point where they're like, yeah, our identity with this series is just being weird. <laughs> And they just like let it go wild. Yeah. yeah. And they started, you know, integrating like weird 3D models and stuff. Yeah, that's that's one of the things I like about the newer WarioWare games is besides the fact because bec because back on the Game Boy Advance, you know, like you said, they could only do sprite work, but on the newer games, they yeah they do like 3D models and, and stuff, and it's it's pretty funny. Just allows them to make the already diverse art even crazier. Mm -hmm. I'm just, I'm just, keep, I'm, I just keep going. What can, what, going. can I say I'm a, I'm a warrior wear master? Warrior wear fiend. Man, that's a heavy turtle. Mm -hmm. That's a big chunk right there. How long are you gonna last on these? You've only. I don't know. Should I just should I just lose? <laughs> uh, it'd be the ethical thing to do, I think. D. <laughs> okay. Okay. Fine. I'm having fun here. I'm gonna I'm gonna try to lose. Fifteen. Get the what? Said so you only had to get to fifteen. I know. I want the you... dog. I want the dog to laugh at me. <laughs> <laughs> he didn't even laugh at you. That's another great thing about the WarioWare games is that they they have unique animations for losing too. That's, yeah, that's so great. This little everything has a little animation. Mm -hmm. All right, are you guys ready for the next stage? This is thrilling. This again, challenge oh, oh. gets going immediately. D again. We gotta get at least 15, yep. I, I didn't play the little animation last time I skipped it. There we go. Okay, so this one, we're at the hardest level, I believe, for every single one of these micro games. We only have one life. How, 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 how far are we gonna get? We're gonna find out. Pretty good, I think. See if you can do it in one try. Okay, now I'm now I'm nervous because I'm I'm streaming this. I'm talking. <laughs> everybody's everybody's watching. Everybody's no! watching. No! No! Uh oh! Mario blocked me. I. It's all Mario's fault. Just like he did on Twitter. Go for it. Kill it. Are you winning, son? <laughs> was, was oh, it... I like that little character. <laughs> yeah, was he wearing a yeah. sunglasses or what? 
It's an Easter Island head. Dude. Just the Easter Island head with, like, his eyes are just in the shadows from his good <laughs> brow. Mm. Such a weird art style for that. It's like that one uh, car commercial. <laughs> oh, yeah, you're right. The real Mario. Yeah. Whoa. Okay, we're, we're at 10. Oh, I cannot, I cannot save people from a burning building. That's, if that's one thing we learned tonight, it's, it's that, apparently. Yeah. <laughs> Well, if, if you're consistent with your previous scores, you'll make it this time. 5, 10, 15. Let's hope. You know, I wonder how, how, how exactly was this game conceived? Like, they were just like, guys, we're gonna make a whole bunch of games. It's gonna go. It's gonna go really fast. It's gonna. Everybody, everybody, go. Just, just go. Just you make. You make something. You make. Uh, count, count some frogs. Program counting frogs. Go, 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 go. You gotta count the frogs right now. Hurry up and go. Go count the frogs. Go, go program. Go make the art. Go do everything. Please, I'm begging you. We gotta get this out tomorrow. <laughs> <laughs> you see the clock? We don't have time. It's like holding up a sundial. Anyway, so yeah, I'd imagine they just all had ideas of different games and none of them were worthy to be their own separate game mm, maybe I mean these are ideas that they can really only exist in like a format like this because they're all so simple hmm most of them are literally just time a button press. True, true. Do you guys, do you guys have faith in me to get this one? Well, it depends on if you're going to win or not. Then I will have faith. Oh, that, that's very logical, Mitchell. Yeah. If you're not gonna win, then I won't have faith. Okay. <laughs> that's <laughs> such a that's such a stupid minute. Put the hey, what are you doing there? You oh you, you have to um press the A button whenever the the cat's eyes are closed. Oh. It's, it's really stupid. <laughs> oh. Sleep. It's the top Game Boy. Nick, did you have a Game Boy? You had a Game Boy one. Advance, right? No, I only had an SP. Oh, you had the SP. What color did you have? It was purple. Purple? I didn't even know they made a purple one. Yeah, it's a the blue one was kind of purpley. Are you talking about that one? I'm pretty sure no, it is purple. I need to look that up to see the color to get a picture of it. <laughs> oh yeah, I guess it was. Um, yeah, I'm thinking it was purple. The blue one, probably what it was. It's blue. Okay. It is a pretty like purplish blue. Dang it. I just want to think of purple for Game Boy. And then, like, the Game Boy Advance had that one purple color that was like the GameCube purple. Yeah, I think it's it's considered like indigo or whatever. Yeah, sure. Uh, that's the color that you had, right, Mitchell? You had that Game Boy. That's Advance? that's the one I had the second time. Oh, that's right. You lost your. Uh my Game Boy. It was white. You had, your original one was white, right? Yes. 
Do you got? Do you still have your original DS, Lynn? The original model DS? No, I traded that one in. Oh, the light. The light was just infinitely better in every way. So yeah. Yeah. I still have my light DSi and 3DS. Mm -hmm. But I had I had the transparent Game Boy Advance. Yeah. The that transparent was... purple one. Yeah, that was cool. But I sold it. <laughs> and then I and then I had a Game Boy Advance SP and I sold that as well. I had a, I had a black one I think. Oh, oh this it was, it was pretty scratched up though. Yeah, it was a used one. Yeah. Everybody likes that SP. Yeah, definitely, definitely. Regret. <laughs> yeah, I, cr I cramped my hands on it for sure, but I definitely regret selling it. Yeah, they're like kind of expensive now, right? Yeah, they're really, they're really expensive, and especially depending on the model, because you know, there's the first generation Game Boy SP, Game Boy Advance SP models, and there's a second generation that had an actual backlight in the back because the first ones had the had a light in the front so, so the, yeah. the light would glare on the screen so um, mine was a first generation yeah and I, I think I may have had a second generation one I'm not for sure tisk tisk yeah I know but if you really wanted to I guess the absolute best way to play Game Boy Advance games is with the normal DS Lite, right? I mean, just with the Game Boy Player from the GameCube. Yeah, the probably. game the GameCube Player is good, although it's not in, like, HD or anything. Um, the best... I mean, it's the best better resolution than a Game Boy screen. I mean, yeah. The best way the best way to play Game Boy Advance games is how we're playing right now, through the, the Wii U's virtual console. Um, oh. Very, very crisp. And nice looking. Um, yep, this is the last time we'll see that. <laughs> I'm sure. I'm sure we'll see Game Boy and Game Boy Advance games on systems later down the line at some point. Maybe, maybe they'll be tied to a subscription. Probably, whatever. That spice orange. That's a cool color. Controller. Or not controller. You know what I mean? Yeah, there, really there was a Game Boy... Like, or, excuse like, me, there was a GameCube that color, right? Yeah, that's that's how I know. <laughs> and wasn't it unique? Like, didn't it... Wasn't it only, like, bundled with a game or something? Yeah. It, yeah, it was, like, a special edition where it came with a GameCube and a game that color, I believe. I remember we got our GameCube uh, with Double Dash. Yeah, it was the, the Double Dash edition with the silver controllers. Came was the controllers. GameCube also just silver? Yeah. Yes, and we still have that, thankfully. And um, <laughs> I can't believe it, because it was only like $100, right? Something like that. <laughs> oh, yeah, I don't remember the ad for that. Game Boy, or uh, what? The GameCube. Hundred dollars, ninety nine dollars actually is what they advertised. Right, yeah, that was crazy. Two controllers and double dash. That's a good deal. <laughs> this game is depressing. <laughs> cool. Guys, am I ever gonna? Starting get... off strong. <laughs> am I ever gonna get to fifteen? Nope. No. Yikes. We out. I feel like I'm getting worse as, as we go on. Yeah. <laughs> so, yeah, Glenn. Uh, Woof. Alright. Yeah, it was crazy because, yeah, you could get a GameCube for $99, and then you could get the Game Boy Advance player for, like, $50. And so, if you had that, you could play the entire, you know, GameCube and Game Boy Advance library for only $150. That's, that's a pretty great deal. Yeah. Get all system in one. Okay, number six. Oh, chop. That one's scary. 
Yeah, you got to get the top one on that one to win that one. Mm -hmm. Number nine. Come on, come on, you can do it. I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> Just very positive. Number number twelve. You have to get to number fifteen. Uh oh, I had it jumping fast. I didn't think you were right. I, I got it. It scared me though. <laughs> All waiting with bated breath. All right, we made it. We made it to, to 16. Let's see how far can we go? Next three more. really unfortunate whenever you you lost your game boy advance mitchell because i lost you, it all my games yeah you lost all your games that sucked yeah i we went to disney world on vacation <laughs> did you time. leave it in the hotel room or something no. there was a van that brought us from like where you went into the hotel to like where we were staying, like a van, like bring oh. you to your actual hotel, whatever. And I left it in the uh, the van. Oh, you didn't like call them? Or I guess, did you realize too late? Yeah, we realized too late. And we called them and they're like, yeah, we got a couple Game Boys. And I don't know <laughs> what the deal was, but like, it was like, there was some situation where it was like, I guess our parents deemed it was too difficult to get it back, so I just didn't. Oh. Yeah, I, I think they were probably more concerned about the fact that they were at Disney World. <laughs> yeah. That, that was probably an understatement. When he said there were some Game Boys, there was probably like an entire room filled with like 10,000 of them. <laughs> or at least at least a thousand, I would think. They're, they're selling them on the black market. You made someone, you made someone some money. Don't be too sad. There's probably there probably is like a place like that that has like a lost and found, that's just really inconvenient, and they've never emptied it out ever. And they probably just yeah. have tons of like handheld systems. They, they probably have a million DSs. <laughs> yeah. Kids just lose those things so easily. We're gonna play the boss stage next. The, what is this? Boy. The Hotel Future. This one's annoying just because it takes so long to get to 15. <laughs> I don't even think this has like a score or I think it might be just like five or something. So oh, is it? Yeah, I think you just have to win one minute. <laughs> uh, but yeah you you had some 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 games. I remember you had like some Tom and Jerry game that was like I remember. But you still had like a Hamtaro game which was actually good though. Yeah, the Hamtaro was like some kind of it's like a, oh wow! It was a Nintendo developed game, right? Something. I remember I didn't like it because I just didn't really get it. I remember oh, that, that was really good. unique. It was a it was a really unique game because it was like it was basically an RPG where you talked and um, 
the game had like a made-up language. So you would like learn new words and you like the more words you got like the more actions you could do and stuff. It was it was pretty cool. I just I was just at a young enough age that I kind of struggled with reading, so introducing fake words didn't help. <laughs> Probably not. But yeah, I'm pretty sure that was an intended though uh, developed game. <laughs> but yeah, basically all I remember is the Tom and Jerry game until you mentioned the Hamtaro one, but I do remember the Hamtaro one. Surely you had more than just that. I definitely had probably like one or two more, I just don't remember. And those were both and those were both like original Game Boy games. They weren't even Game Boy Advance games. True. Uh Game Boy Color game that I had that I really regret selling. I I, I, I regret selling all this stuff. I, I hate it. That's why it's why I don't sell anything anymore. But uh, I uh, I had Kirby Tilt and Tumble mm -hmm. on on the Game Boy, and that was that was fun. Very unique motion control game on the Game Boy. This is how that works. Yeah, apparently it used. The batteries, from what I read, is how it knew. I'm not. I'm not 100% sure. Yeah, how that does that. Yeah, I don't know. I could be wrong about that though. So it seems really odd. Mm -hmm. Let's see what? Is this to be Mount Fuji in the background? I believe so. Little dip, little, little dip in the pond here. Does it change? Why would it go in the water? <laughs> You're the one who was who convinced me it was a chicken in the first place. I have no idea what that thing is. <laughs> Wait, you were making up the whole time? I was fighting you. Oh man. Okay, so we, we, we talk about art in this game and how certain things bother us. The bottom of this guy's chin bothers me. Yeah. It's like they should have took out a couple more pixels. <laughs> just, it's his forehead's just... his forehead's too big. Pushes the chin down. It's so heavy, it's pushing his chin down lower. Yeah. It's making his, his face just... It is made out of metal. Oh. I wonder if this song that plays in this micro game, I, I, I guess it's probably Japanese, but what is it saying? Man, you're asking the wrong people. What is it? I can't really hear it because I turned the volume down. Just some bit crushed Japanese. <laughs> I don't think you're supposed to understand the lyrics to this song. I guess not. Oh. They would only make you miserable if you knew. <laughs> you'd be you'd be really depressed if you. Yeah. If you understood. You're like honestly, you're lucky you don't know what they say. It's some kind of evil witch's hex. I'm not repeating it. You'd be screwed if you did. Get my video DMCA'd on YouTube. Oh my god. And Twitch. Faster. It's always... Faster. Faster. I don't know. I don't know if I should be talking about that on Twitch, but you know. <laughs> I'm gonna get you just for talking about it. Twitch is going to arrest you. <laughs> yeah, it's kind of funny. Everybody, everybody's been deleting clips. They're gonna, they're gonna show up to their your house and they're gonna delete your computer. Oh no! Whoa! They can do that. Yeah. 
Actually, the the Twitch can can legally do more stuff to you than the police. Oh no! That's just how it is. That's just the rules. <laughs> and, and Mitchell, Mitchell Not. doesn't, Mitchell doesn't make the rules. So. Yeah. I mean, this is Twitch's world. We're just living in it. <laughs> it. I wonder if I, if I role played as a hunter, because you know that one chick is a thief. I don't think that would. That That's not gonna work. Oh, okay. Just... Oh, don't get hit. I'm good. I'm good. Should I just pound this guy's arm? Fingers. Yeah, there you go. Bonehead. Can you hit his head? <laughs> it, doesn't... <laughs> it, doesn't... it doesn't go that far. Aw. Hit him in the jugular. Just to be funny. <laughs> Just I killed, I killed that guy. That's hilarious. He, so funny. He, he, he probably deserved it. All right, I think we should end things off with the staff credits here. Perfect. I like how there's a little Easter egg, depending on um, which but which way you go, you can do different icons. What is that? Little icon. If you press down, it looks like it's a Triforce. Yeah. If you press right, it looks like the GameCube icon. Is that the GameCube logo? Oh, yeah, I guess it is. Press left, it's a W. Wow. And hearts. Oh. It's so cute. So do you guys have any any closing words here for WarriorWare? I'm Batsuka Hufi, you made this game excellent. Exactly. It's true. Thanks, Gabe. Goro. Uh, Gabe? Uh, or Abe. 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 Man. Abe Goro. I'm just going to say that I'm not responsible for anything that happens to you while you're playing WarriorWare. And you can't get me in trouble. You can't do it. Very responsible. I'm just stating my rights. Uh, is is there someone I'm, behind you? I'm glad. I'm just. I'm glad that you. You're letting everybody know. True. <laughs> I like how in every single one of these, these uh, staff um, credits, it's like the same people being repeated over. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> It's like, we get it, it was just you guys. Could've just had one thing where it was like... I did the boss programming, some game programming, I did this, 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 and this, and it has one name. Mm -hmm. <laughs> yeah. And that's the whole credits. Whoa, the stars are going super fast <laughs> now. Oh, that's crazy. One sound director, that's what I thought. That guy made every sound you hear in this game with his mouth. Mm -hmm. Other people's mouth too when record. Nintendo. Nintendo gave these five people that made this game a computer that only had an MS Paint on it. I said, make a game by the time I get back for the launch. <laughs> <laughs> When I come back in this room, there better be 30,000 copies of this. And so, uh, I'm pretty sure that's how the development went. <laughs> yeah, it's funny you say that, because I think the GameCube game had, like, a weird development time. Like, I think I think the game was made in, like, uh, like a month or two months or something insane like that. Whoa. The game, the game, this this Game Boy Advance game sold so well. It was such a such a big hit. Um, whenever it released, it, just word of mouth, incredible reviews, you know everything. That um, they they were like, yeah, we need a GameCube game. Like, can we get a GameCube game out for the holidays? <laughs> and so they had like one month to uh, 
to work on it. And you can definitely you can definitely tell that they they slapped it together, but it's it's as we've mentioned, uh, it's it's good. Not bad. It's it's definitely good if you like didn't have this game. Mm -hmm. No, if you did have this game, it felt kind of like, hey, I just kind of feel like I bought the same game except I have. That's, that, that, that is that, that is how I felt whenever I first played it. It was like, oh, this is just the Game Boy one. Like, like exactly. <laughs> single, the single player content and that, and that one's definitely lacking. Yeah, it, it just, even the menus feel like there's room for more stuff that just never got <laughs> added in the game. Mm -hmm. Hey, you! Me? Yeah, I was talking to you, Mitchell, in particular. Oh? It says, hey you, thanks for playing 12 years ago. Or whenever. And then I said, huh? What? <laughs> That's how it goes. There's there's more unlockables in this game, but it all involves uh, doing other stuff. I'm obviously not going to do that here. But thanks, thanks guys, thanks for uh, watching me go down a trip down memory lane here with WarioWare Inc. Thanks for you guys. Lose my mind. <laughs> yes. We we will recover. Need to sleep this one. <laughs> See, I gotta sleep this one off. <laughs> <laughs> right. All right. Thanks, thanks everyone for watching. Have a have a great night. Bye. See you. Bye-bye.